This is update number four on the uh, laser engraver and cutter project and unfortunately I've encountered another problem that needs to be fixed. So I've received some more linear bearings today and it's given me the opportunity to kind of properly mount and test these kind of side uh, X carriages here. Now the linear bearings are, um, you can see one poking out to the sides here. These are the bit that kind of mount inside the plastic and allow it to run smoothly um, on the rails in a linear fashion, hence the name. The, I tried with, um, initially has kind of a one in each, uh, they're small kind of 15mm uh, things. Let me see if I can just pull one out here. Yeah. So that's it sitting on the shaft there. It's 15mm uh, long and had one of those in each block and had some kind of wobble that way, which wasn't great. So I thought a good opportunity, a uh, good uh, potential fix would just be to shove uh, two in each. So. It's not quite sized correctly, it's why it sticks out a little bit, but there's two linear bearings in each and I've got that in both sides now and the final set allowed me to kind of set this up and I've been able to test something I've been slightly worried about now for a few days. I'm driving this from one side only and I was hoping to be able to do that properly so this uh, moves up and down and uh, as this moves up and down the shaft here, it drags this one with it. It's uh, smooth enough to allow for that motion. Um, but I don't think it's going to work as expected. So it's set up at the moment, it's got uh, the kind of software running on the Arduino, it's flashing away to indicate it's kind of talking with the software on the computer. And let me just log in. And the software I'm running on the computer is there, it's called Universal G-Code Sender. It's, um, it's kind of a lightweight Java app, runs on a couple of different OSs, and it, and what I'm just using at the moment is the kind of manual machine control, so I can kind of send commands in to move it. So what I'm going to do now is just send a couple of commands to shift this axis. You can hear that kind of speed up, move along, then speed down again. Um, that, it, it works well. Um, so I'm going to get it moving along quite nicely. It's, um, I'm quite happy with the speed, it's going to be fast enough what I need and I can tweak that in the software anyway. Um, but this piece here doesn't quite work as planned. When I move the top piece here, it starts to move that way for example, and then a short time later this follows. It's not perfectly in sync, uh, which means there's a little kind of bit of a slip and lag here, so the position of this is not 100% repeatable. And I should be able to kind of demonstrate that now. So it moves in that direction. And if the position of this, if I start moving the opposite direction, this doesn't immediately follow can just about see the top shifting before this one does. It's also um, not a perfectly smooth, it does seem to kind of slightly stick and jitter. And this means this design is going to need to be a little more complicated than I had hoped. To get around this, I'm going to need to drive the both sides. I'll need an exactly the same arrangement um, that I've got here, but over here. So both sides get driven at the same time, and so one is not waiting for the other one to move along, so then drag it there. They're both kind of actively moving, and, and that will hopefully give me my kind of uh, very kind of accurate positioning. The, this carriage over here is pretty stable. It, it doesn't kind of move around very much, and because in addition to these the two bars and rail that's running on, it's also effectively bolted onto this shaft here, which now the motor's in place is quite solid, um, versus this side which certainly has a lot more kind of um, wobble and more movement in it, you just, that just doesn't happen. And uh, I think if I end up start driving it from this side, that will uh, solve that problem. Having to add this second uh, shaft along the other side is annoying, um, I was hoping to do away with it or not need it, but uh, evidently it is necessary, certainly for kind of repeatability. And with the, the low power laser I'm using, I'm almost certainly going to need to kind of repeat and go over patterns, so I need to be able to get back to exactly that point. Um, but I do have the kind of spare drive shaft ready for that side, um, 
I need a few more bearings, uh, another kind of step and most obviously, and uh, kind of a few more bits and pieces, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, I think I can also drive it from the existing motor controller, uh, stepper driver. Um, if not, that's going to be annoying because that board is pretty much complete as it is. Um, but hopefully I can kind of double them up, uh, but we'll see. Um, and problem is now I've started thinking about uh, a different design for uh, one of these entirely, which um, hopefully won't distract me from finishing this.